hand clap. So we're just on our way to the first location for seeing what, Gina? Going green. Going green. The going green scene from Twister. We'll cut away to a clip of that now. So, we're just going to go and try and pinpoint exactly where that was shot. It was, bearing in mind, how many years ago Gina was all this recorded? 20. Well, it came out 20 years ago, so it could be 21 years ago when it was all shot. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go and try and find out where it was all located. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can find it. If not, we're in the middle of nowhere. If not, we are in the middle of nowhere. Washita River. So okay, I've um, in other news, I've only been driving now in America for a day, and the American roads are crazy at best. So the speed limit signs constantly change, but they don't tell you when they change back. So you go through a set of roadworks, and then the roadworks say you do 35 for the roadworks, but then everyone who's local climbs up your ass because you don't realise that after you've gone out of the set of roadworks, apparently, from what I'm guessing, the speed limit suddenly goes back to what it was before. Um, however, they don't tell you anything like that. The, the speed signs just are what they are. 55. 55 now. So you're looking for a tiny little white sign which you can hardly make out. The font keeps changing depending on which state you're in as well, so it's never the same font, which is all really useful. Um, no, at least in I know I should be shouldn't be really banging on about it, but at least in the UK, we have a nice red circle that says this is a speed limit sign. You must obey this, and this is what it is. But literally, you're looking for a tiny little white sign, um, which then suddenly says 45, and then you've got another one which says 25, which is constantly changing the fonts. Nobody is doing 25 miles an hour around you like this guy. It's very weird. Oh, now it's sped up to 35 again. So that's a weird thing I've got told about. Thank you, Paul, for that. You have these weird things called four-way stops. So basically, you kind of treat it like a roundabout, but you don't. It's a roundabout but without a roundabout. So whoever gets there first has priority over going first. I think the rule of thumb is because I'm foreign, just um, give way to everyone. <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody. If is anybody from America who's watching this right now, maybe you can tell me why you have weird speed limits. So. Everywhere else in the world, they're all rounded up to a number. So you've got like 30, 40, 50, 60. Whereas you decide to use lots of number fives. And there must be a reason for it. 35. 35 now. It's like being in Wales when you've got the farmers. It is. So anyway, we are coming up onto the first location and I think we have just driven past it. So. I'm going to have to cut this off and come back to you because for some reason Google Maps has put me on the wrong side of what I think it is. It has. So we've just driven past the first location we haven't realised. No, but I'll point it out to you in a minute. Find somewhere to spin round, that's a question. Yep, we're in. I would prefer a manual car. Or to you American people, stick. stick. Because at least I know what I'm doing with it then, as opposed to guessing what the car wants to do. All right, let's roll. Road's clear. Power! It sounds like it's going somewhere, but I think that's just because the automatic box is revving its nuts off. Right, so Gina, there are some important things coming up now. We were travelling just the right direction for where this film was making you believe that they were travelling. Um, and in the film, see them silver orbs over there? To your right, GoPro can't see it. Yeah. They are just in the background of a shot. And over to your left is the nodding donkey that's in the background of the film. And that is where he is looking and saying it's going green. And this is the place. So we are stopping now where the cafe once was and it is no longer. 
yep, this is where the cafe was. So that's the tyre shop where you got this tyre repaired over that side of the road. And this was where the cafe was, where that concrete hard standing is. This is it. This literally is it. So where was Dot then? Right where we're parked now, I think. Yeah. I didn't bring the laptop. Laptop's got film in it. Dot was here then. So that over there is the tyre repair shop. Have you got the folder? I've got the folder in the back of the car. So in order to make things a little bit simpler whilst we're away, I took some screenshots and printed them off from the film. So we are on day one, and I'm looking for day one here. You've mocked them all, haven't you? No. Have <laughs> I? Uh, I'm on day two. Right. So that is that. That building is that building. Look at the windows down the side of that it building. It really is. The roof line's the same and everything. Well, apart from the... So, that, where that truck's in the way now, that's where Melissa is. And Bill stood roughly where we are now. So, Bill Paxton has been stood here. <laughs> right. So, we're looking for this... That is that building right there. That is the road over there that he's looking into in the distance where he picks up a bit of soil from over there, just at the edge of that grass. Going green. It's going green. Yeah. And that piece of tarmac there is where the cafe was. We've just got a thumbs up from guys, I'm assuming they know that this must be the Twister location. So some guys were just driving past in a lorry just and just gave us a thumbs up because they must know that this was one of the Twister locations and that we're here for that. Either that or they just never really, really random. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, if we watch back the film later, do we reckon that these tiled floors, these, these line of tiles that were stuck down, do we reckon that these were actually in the, ca in the cafe that was built? You're in love with him, aren't you? You're still in love with him, aren't you? Check, please. Check, please. Not that I blame you. I just hope this isn't some desperate attempt to keep him in your life. Yeah, so this is obviously the cafe. And that's where he's looking into in the distance where he's saying it's going green. <laughs> so yeah, it's changed a lot. So the, for those who are watching it back at the moment, what's the date today? It's the 15th. So today it's the 15th of August 2017, and this is currently what? Let's just do a quick 360. So that's currently what is left of the the cafe scene. Are we calling it? See the car. Well, this is the cafe. 
Yeah, this is where, this is where Bill first sees Dot. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that Dot was parked up somewhere between where our car is and just about here. And Dot 3 is the answer. Digital orthographic telemetry? Tele Did yeah. Even make sense? Sounds good. The first digital orthographic telemetry. So yeah, so that's the garage where they got their tyre repaired. On board post office. Um, and you might be able to see, if you see in the scenes as well, you can probably see the, just the background of them two houses as well that are there. I'm sorry, I should have told you. One day. I'll give you one day. Whether she flies or not, I'm gone. How are you feeling? Cool. Actually getting to see one of your first locations. The time's not being kind to that. Was that... That rocket wasn't there in the film, was it? I don't know. I don't know. It's worth probably trying to look back again, see if it's in there. So, a while. We, let's, let's roll onwards. So that's the only one we're seeing today, um, because a lot of them are actually spread out over quite a large distance. Go back in the car now. I understand how hard it was to try and find these places. <laughs> Nothing alike. <laughs> You're looking for like literally tiny little things like them. So Gina's just realising now. Hang on, let me just check on GoPro still GoPro in. Wakita! So yeah, so Gina's just beginning to realise exactly what it's been involving to try and find these things because just like I showed you from that still in that film, nothing is like um, like what it what it was back then. It's like the top of the building's been completely changed as well. Because if you look, that that humpy thing on the top is made of blocks and it had a garage sign above it. If there was somebody near the garage, I'd go over and talk to them. Oh, that feels a bit hillbilly, really. I might have to edit that out, Gina. Oh, after you've been slagging off America all the way in. I've not been slagging off America, I've just been saying it's weird. Well, what's with your bacon? Why do you speed this way? <laughs> UK awesome. I'm not saying. Actually, no, I'm not saying UK is awesome because it's not. The way you're sounding is like you're. Do you know where you're going next? No, we're going back towards um, Oklahoma City now. Oh, Oklahoma, where the river comes, we've been done a play. Ready? Nope. Power! Wow. So yeah, thought occurs. Um, I was wondering why, because looking at all the locations, um, Gina, Gina's, although she knows the list now of what we're doing, um, you don't really know where they all are, do you, in relation to anything? I don't know where we are in relation to anyway. Right, so, with that in mind, anyway, it was, the question sprung up, and I don't know if I'll ever find out the answer, but it's just why why was this one location chose? Um, we should actually point it out, really, shouldn't I? So we're just located out ju just outside of Maysville. Um, what was that location for that one, Gina? Do you want to read it out? Call number. Yeah, read the, read the GPS number out. Who's calling number one? In case you want it. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'll just put it up on the bottom of the screen. Right, so if you... Yeah, down... In the description box. That's what YouTube is saying. Okay, it'll be in the description box, but it's also on the screen now. So if you type this number into... <laughs> if you type this number now into Google Maps, um, that will take you to the location where the film was shot, all within about 40 metres of it. For some reason, it wasn't bang on accurate. Um, but yeah, so it'll take you to where the location where that scene was shot. But if you were to look at all the other ones, you find out that it's quite amazing how many, um, how many hundreds of, in fact thousands of miles are actually spread between this one and the furthest away one. So the furthest one away from this location where we are now is the final scene where the house um, survives the twist but Bill and Joe strap themselves down to some pipes. So that location is the furthest one away from where we are now and it's actually closer to Chicago at this moment in time. Um, so really nowhere near us. We're putting our blind faith in Google Maps at the moment. Cheers, Google. Thanks. Big thumbs up for that. You're lucky you got a phone, 
Yeah, so if it wasn't for 3Mobile, who I'm with back in the UK, I wouldn't have unlimited data, so I'd probably be using up all of my data right now. And if it wasn't for Google Maps as well, we definitely wouldn't be finding out where we were. If I was to be doing this off old road maps coming out of the country, I'd probably, probably not stand a chance. Yeah, we would be doing this in it for ages. However, that being said, I did spend months trying to plan this all. So what else is on the itinerary for today, Gina? Fine cinema snacks slash drinks, M&M's, Cheetos. Because what? what's happening later than Gina? Go to a drive-in movie. Which one? The one that was in the film. So later on we're going to the cinema which is in the town called Guthrie and that's where they shot the scene for the cinema scene where they tore through it and um, they made up for the film the cinema screen and the garages and everything else so we're going to the town we're going to go see that location as well later on um, that's going to be around uh, later on after tea time and then we're going to go and watch a driving film and I think that's Spider-Man Homecoming that's out at the moment so another like bucket list thing the Americans might not see the appeal to it but I don't know Back in England, the, the whole idea of parking up and going to the cinema sounds quite cool. We'll give it a go. So we're going to give it a go. We've, we've never done anything like that before. So we'll do that. Um, we're going to go shopping today. Gina's going to go and spend some money. And we're going to try and find some snacks for later as well. Ooh. Gina, you didn't do your clap thing. I have to do it at the end now. <laughs> Gina forgot to do the clap thing so I can sync the sound up because the it's GoPro sounds God. rubbish. This is your thing, it's not my thing. Not confusing at all. 65. 65. Power! Can't be Jeremy Clarkson. No, because I'm really not in the right kind of car. I've got Jeremy Clarkson's gut. <laughs> grey hair. I haven't got as much grey hair as Jeremy Clarkson, have I? Oh, the person behind seems a bit happier now. They're not trying to overtake me. <laughs> happy screaming. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would be happy. Walk back now and find the car. Such a weirdness. Gina, go for a transition. Hyper pan. Oil change due. That's interesting because I've got about 2,000 miles to do. I'm thinking I'm doing like whatever it is. Yeah. And my hand just like that. <laughs> I got two. Oh, that's a little tornado on it. Tornado. 